Okay, how do you want this blog post style to be displayed? I'm gonna use the card concept that's available in Bootstrap to render this thing. So Bootstrap has a concept of cards, which are basically classes that you can put to a div. And uh, this is going to render the contents of this div as a card. Not only does this have this card uh, design, it also lets you add stuff to the body and uh, put a title and contents here. So I'm going to have a class equals card body. And then inside this, I'm going to have a title. And then I'm going to create a button, uh, which is an anchor tag, which is going to be the, the read more. So what I'm doing here is I've created a card body, which contains three elements, the card title, the summary, and then a button which says read and clicking on that button is going to take the user to the blog post details page. We're not going to be implementing the details in this course, but at least it's something that we want this card to have. I'm going to have href equals just an empty hash and then class equals the bootstrap button classes btn and btn primary. And then I'm going to call this read. Then uh, I'm going to put the simple text here, title and summary. Press save. Now here you see we get this kind of a card uh, style. So each title is going to be rendered like this and the summary is going to be below it. And then each card has a button. Now we have styled one a uh, blog post style component, right? Each one of these is one blog post style component. But in the list, I have three instances, which is why you're seeing three instances of the tile. So this is a good starting point. What I wanna do now is not use the hard-coded values, but instead take that value from the component. This is very simple in Angular. Uh, you can create values in your member variables of your class and then use those values in the component. When you refer to any property of the class, it is by default the member variable. It's the property of that instance of the class that's backing this HTML template. So what I'm going to do is create two properties here. Uh, we are going to start simple and then we're going to add to this. So let's say I create a property called title, which is a string, and then a summary, which is another string. And then in my ng on in it, I'm going to say this dot title. I'm going to say block title. And then this dot summary is the blog post summary. Now that I have this, I can go to my HTML. And then instead of this hard coded value, I can use this interpolation, this template expression, which lets me refer to the member variables of my class. So here I'm using title, which is from the class member variable title, and I can use summary the same way. So what I'm gonna do is use these double curlies to refer to the class instance member variable. And now when Angular renders this, uh, this template, it is going to plug the value in from the instance. In the instance, the values are these two. So it is going to plug those in to this thing when I press save. Now here you see it's getting the value from the component. It is still the same thing. It hasn't changed, but this actually allows us to pass in different values and have these, uh, the title and the summary be different values at runtime. And that's the goal. Now that we have this, we need to ideally be able to pass in these values to the component so that in the blog list component, rather than just have the component instance do just one thing, show just one value, it should basically show whatever is passed to it. I should be able to pass in different values for different blog posts and have those be reflected. Let's take a look at how to do that. 